much. It's a, a flyweight contest, 51 kilograms, which uh, is eight stones. Brings together Kazakhstan and Poland. Poland represented by the 26-year-old Rafał Kaksor. And his opponent who might just be fancy for this one is Mirat Sarsambayev from Kazakhstan, who won a, uh, just 19 years of age, won a, a bronze medal in the World Championships uh, here in, in China. Went out in his third contest in the World Championships in Chicago. And this is his opponent, Rafael Kaksor. And here is Sarsambayev. Very competitive division, this. Yuri Gamboa, the champion from Cuba, has uh, defected to the professional ranks, much to the uh, chagrin of the Cuban camp. They've lost five of their gold medalists from Athens last year. The great Mario Kindlin has retired, but three of them have already defected to the professional ranks. One tried to do, and uh, has not been seen or heard of since. So the first contest in the flyweight division, 51 kilograms, brings together in a, a preliminary contest, Poland and Kazakhstan. The little fellow in red, Mirat Sazembayev, just 22 years of age, is the South Pole, one of a strong contingent of uh, Kazakhstan representatives here. No fewer than 10, Poland have only got two, and this is one of them, the man in blue, Rafał Kazkor, 26 years of age now. Qualified by getting to the quarter-finals of the World Championships last year in uh, Chicago, losing out to the eventual silver medal winner. Fairly evenly matched, apart from, of course, the fact that uh, the man in red is a southpaw. First thoughts from Richie Woodall. Yeah, I'm always interested in watching the Kazakhstans because they have got a strong team, and this will be another boxer here, Sazenbayev. They'll be probably, probably fancied in this division. But yeah, all could say for again. They're very well schooled, the Kazakhstans, and they, they've got a very high standard in their amateur ranks. And um, yeah, I always like watching the Kazakhstans. They're, they're good boxers. And what they do is they send an awful lot of boxers to a lot of uh, tournaments around Asia, and particularly in Europe. This fellow, Sarsabaya, was the Asian champion in 2007, and the gold medal in the Ahmed Common Cup in Istanbul and Turkey a couple of years before that and has boxed in both the Felix Stamp tournament in Warsaw and the Strangia Memorial Tournament, one of the oldest tournaments in European amateur boxing in Bulgaria. A little bit of a slow start to this one. Good left hand by Sarsam Bayev. Classic south pro right, followed by a very quick left. Had to travel a fair old distance, but he got it in quickly. 3-1 up now to Sarsam Bayev. Started to pick up a little bit. Yeah, he's scoring well, mainly because he's using fast feet work as well here. That was that was uh, negative, though, going back in a straight line. But Sazenbayev um, working well with his jab, but he's getting his feet in there nice and quick and landing that left hand. But he'll also he'll change the attack and switch downstairs with a left uppercut to the body. That's one of the favourite shots uh, of the South Boers that we've seen here. And he does it very well, whips it in. I have to say, much hugely impressed with this uh, referee, Mr Beckles. Well, that was a good right hand from the Polish boxer, but he got caught as he came in. And saw some bias, picked him off again. Needless to say, the Chinese support here would be very much in favour of the man from Kazakhstan. <laughs> so Mirat Sarsambayev ends the opening two minutes in this flyweight division. Four points to two up against Rafael Kaksor from Poland. Yes, yeah, some good work here from Sarsambayev. It's an in-and-out game, this one. They're both very evenly matched, got good skills. But there was a nice little left hand there to the body. Very quick with the feet. There's that uppercut I was talking about. And that was a lovely shot downstairs. There's another straight left and a straight right from Sarsambayev. Good work from him in that round. A little bit negative going on the ropes here. Kaksor managed to land with one shot. But uh, Sarsambayev, good round for him. They've met a couple of times before and that's uh, one apiece in terms of the match so this really is the is the rubber and it couldn't have got a much more important stage 
Only one division lighter, and that's the light flyweight division, 48 kilograms, 7 stone 10. These fellas are, are 8 stones. 4-2 then to the man in red. Mirad Sarsambaya from Kazakhstan. Just maybe hasn't moved on the way that they thought he might after winning a, a world bronze medal in 2005 in, in China. Lost in the final to uh, Andre Lafita from Cuba. Having beaten Don Broadhurst in his opening contest. And Don Broadhurst went on to achieve reasonable things. Commonwealth Games gold medalist, now useful little pro. Good shot there by the Polish boxer. Why didn't that score, Richie? Yeah, that should have scored that one. I'm impressed with this Kaksor as well. I think, uh, you know, he's got a very relaxed guard, but he's got a great right hand in himself. He's, he's trying to do what Sazan Bayev's doing by fast feet, trying to land the rear hand. Yeah, I like him. This is a very even match, this one, Jim. A good one to start. We had some stinkers yesterday. He's too anxious to get on with him. There's that left hand of Sazan Bayev coming across again. Didn't quite make contact. Good, solid little short right hand by the Polish boxer. Closed the gap to a couple of points. Tried it again, failed. Yeah, he's got to watch what he's doing here, Kaksor, the way he's running forward. He, he's got away with it a couple of times. Oh, that's a nice counter. What a lovely shot. That should have scored. That's, 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 that's Come scandalous on. scoring. That is scandalous. What a great shot that was. What a great counter. Defensive move, creates an opening, and he scored. Well, you do sometimes worry. Six four coming up to the end of the second. Might well have been uh, even, Stephen. There was a good right hand from Sarsen Bayev. There's one mistake that Kaksor's making here, is that rear leg, when he tries to land the rear hand, the right hand, he brings his leg forward, his, his target becomes square on, that's a fault, and he's been exposed a couple of times. He swings the whole body round, doesn't he? Yeah, your, your target area then becomes full onto your opponent. Well, not much between them. Kaksor, who I thought landed with at least one shot that should have scored, perhaps uh, may well feel hard done by, but he's trailing by just three points at the halfway stage, and every chance they can close this gap. And a buy in his opening contest in the World Championships in Chicago last year, the men from Papua New Guinea and uh, Iran before going out. Well, 15-3 to the excellent Thai boxer, he's one of the favourites here. Young Johor. Sasa Bayev was beaten by the previous contest by that very same man, so they've both gone out to the same boxer. He's one of the gold medal favourites. From the body language of the coach, the Polish coach, I think he was trying to say, you know, come round the side a little bit more. He's obviously talking about the left hook or actually try and deliver that shot after the right hand. The right hand left up combination is always a favoured one against the southpaw. Maybe that's what he was talking about. Let's, let's just see. Kaksor, the taller of the two, did well to avoid that left hand from Sarsan Bayev. Well, there was the problem. Kaksor stepped inside the lead right leg of the Kazakhstani boxer won't get punished for it, that's the way you don't want to be with your feet, Richie. No. Especially if he's got a sharp left hand. Just have a look at where their feet are. That was better by the Pope. That's where we should be doubling up, that right hand and the left hook should be coming across. <laughs> Don't hold to Sasa Bayev from the referee. A little bit scrappy. If you like that sort of thing, pretty impressive tattoos Kaksor's sporting. There's the left hook. That was a good shot. That scored. And another there you go. cracking little shot. Well, there was a great little shot to the chin by uh, Kaksor, which uh, didn't score.
he's a point or two to give himself any decent chance in the last round. That was a good right hand. But he didn't land with the knuckle part of the glove, which you have to on the target area, which is the head and torso. And if uh, three of the five judges decide that it's been a good shot and three of them press their button within a second, then it's recorded on the computer system. It's just eased out to four points, and it's going to be tough for Rafael Caxor in this last round. Now 10-5. That makes it even more difficult for him right at the end. And his head went down there, Richie. Yeah. Amazing body language. Yeah, he's um, he's getting a little bit frustrated towards the end of the round there. I just seen him shake his head as well. A little bit despondent. He's trying things, but the more eager he's, he's getting, the more he's walking onto shots. Oh, that was a lovely straight right hand there from Sazenbayev. Lovely shot. Reverse one two if you like. The rear hand is the first one they tries to score with. Then he sticks out that straight right. But better work from the Kazakhstani. Short little right up there. But uh, it's a shame one of these fighters have got to go out because Kaksor himself, I think he's, he's a high quality um, opponent for anyone. He really is. And to go out in the first round to, to draw Sarsen Bayer in the first round, that's a tough draw. <laughs> Knows he's got a lot to do. Good little sequence. The man coming out of the red corner. A little southpaw from Kazakhstan made on Sasa Bayev. A championship bronze medal in China in 2005. He's done it off all the way through. Just to keep ahead of his uh, pretty accomplished opponent from Poland. He's had to give second best man in blue, Rafael Kaksor, all the way through. Don't run. Good refereeing. Good to see that. Sneaky left of the cut again from Sarsen Boyer. That's scored. Kaksor now he's making mistakes. He's too eager coming in. But he knows he's got to try and chase this fellow and try and uh, score some points. But in doing that, he's leaving himself open, making mistakes, dropping his hands as he's coming in. the buyer running again then he steps in and just closes his man down clever tactics by him running just long enough not to incur the wrath of the referee Kaxor okay, so going to the body so some bar drawing the referee's attention to the fact that a bootlace of his opponent has come undone he's happy to stand in the neutral corner for a few seconds the referee gives the command box only three verbal commands remember in amateur boxing stop break and box everything else done by universally recognized hand signals that's the second time for running that's good to see with actually yeah well it, it shouldn't be a third time it should be a warning away and steps in, didn't pick up any more points from 13-5 to Sarsen Bayev and he's won this one reasonably comfortably, just that little bit better all the way through. Well now you see the pattern of the contest, the movement is suiting Sarsen Bayev because uh, he is a counter-punching southpaw on the back foot, so anyone coming at him like this, I mean this is, uh, he, he would love this all day long, believe you me. Bit of a clash of heads right at the end, Sarsen Bayev's picked up another point, 14-5 to the 22 year old from uh, Kazakhstan and he's progressed into the second series in this flyweight division still got a wee bit left I think very accomplished won the last round by four points in the middle and won the others by a couple of points yeah good performance from, from Sarsen Bayer, Kaxel, very unlucky, just an unlucky draw at the end of the day. Very skillful opening contest to begin session number seven here at the Workers' Gymnasium. And at the end of it, there's a victory for the flyweight from Kazakhstan.